So a lot of folks have asked what my wife drives. She actually drives a 2016 Lincoln Navigator in the same white platinum tricoat as my truck. So here it is, folks. This is our new Big Tex trailer. This is the 35SA, or 35 single axle trailer. This specific model is 77 inches by 12 feet. So when you read the measurements and they say 77 inches wide or 60 inches wide, they're talking about the actual deck. So the floor of the specific unit is actually 77 inches. And I've put a tape measure here just to show you that. Right at 77 inches, it's going all the way to the other end. Now the interior length of this model is also 12 feet long. And this one comes with a ramp on the back, which is really nice. It uses expanded steel for the actual platform. The frame on this model actually uses 3 by 2 inch cross members, that's angle iron, and a 3 by 2 inch angle iron channel that runs down each side. I know many trailers use this, but I really like the construction when they use this 2 and 3 eighths inch pipe that goes across both the front and down the sides of it. That gives it a much more rigid platform, and it's much stronger. Something that's often an upgrade on most trailers, but a standard on big text trailers, is the use of LED lights all the way around. So you have them here, and also here in the back, right here, here, and there. As well as your three center lights, and the lights on the other side. The uprights on this trailer are 3 16 inch angle iron, and they are 2 inch angles. The tires are pretty standard as they come. They come on white steel wheels, but one of the nice things about the tires on the Big Tex trailer is that they're actually steel belted radial tires versus bias ply tires. So it's a much better tire, and you really don't have a lot of failure rate of utility trailer tires, simply because it's unlikely you're going to put them at their maximum payload. But a lot of people do opt to upgrade these tires to LT tires, which is something you can do. The wood on the floor of these trailers is either going to be pine or Douglas fir. Another nice thing you get with Big Tex trailers is that they put backings behind the fenders of their trailers. A lot of them don't. They actually keep it wide open and exposed. This is a cleaner look. Some trailers do it, some trailers don't. I personally like the look of when they do put the backer there. They put four of these tie-down hoops here as well, two on each side. The axles that you get on this trailer are Dexter axles, and they're also Easy Lube. Makes it a lot easier to care for the trailer. Of course, leaf sprung suspension. And they also go ahead and put the flange for mounting brakes. So if you want to add brakes to one of these units, the flange is already in place so you can simply mount them. This specific trailer has a gross trailer weight rating of 2,995 pounds. The trailer itself weighs about 985 pounds in that range, so you roughly have about 2,010 pounds of payload capacity that you could put in the trailer. Of course, it does come equipped with safety chains. Now the specific trailer we bought will come in a package that most people are going to find and that's with the drop down ramp in the back as well as the spare tire mount on the side. Just for a little added security we use one of these hitch locks on the front. Basically a ball that locks into the actual hitch coupler. Makes it very difficult to actually drive off with the trailer. This trailer was right at $1,600. I think you see the price right there, $1,595. If you find it for less somewhere, it's unlikely to have the spare tire carrier on the back or the drop-down gate. You know, we looked everywhere when buying a trailer. There's probably 25 to 30 different trailer manufacturers around here. And the fact is, you know, we really wanted a Big Tex trailer because we knew that that was by far the best trailer. We wanted to find a dealership that would back it up and support it. So we actually purchased this from Taggart Motors. They're in Portland, Texas, which is actually right beside Corpus Christi, Texas. They were awesome to deal with, and they made the process really simple and easy, especially because they take care of pretty much everything that you need when you're buying one of these utility trailers. And here is the reason we bought this utility trailer. We purchased this EasyGo Express L6, slightly used, but in really good condition with a ton of upgrades. We plan on taking it out to Port Aransas and some of the areas around here where you can drive these on the beach and even on the roads in some cases. These are considered street legal when properly equipped with seat belts and lights and things like that. This specific golf cart comes with a 13 horsepower Kawasaki engine. It's actually pretty powerful, pretty peppy. It can get up to about 25 miles an hour. I think it's governed at this time right around, if I'm correct, around 15 or 20 miles an hour. But it's pretty quick. 
One of the nice things about this one in particular is that it came fully equipped with a full kicker sound system, Kenwood CD player with Bluetooth, auxiliary port, everything else, rear view mirror, which is optional, as well as LED lighting going all the way around the top canopy here, as well as LED lights that run across the bottom and in the speakers themselves. This one came with what appears a small lift on it, as well as custom wheels and tires. These are aftermarket. as well as the brake lights and the slow moving vehicle sign. I added these strobing lights on the back, they're amber strobe lights, just to add some additional visibility to traffic that might be behind me, either on the beach or in town. This one had a pretty interesting upgrade. So the previous owner upgraded the headlights in this model to Xenon headlights, they're 35 watt Xenons. And you can see the bulb right there. One thing I added were these really awesome black oak LED lights. Now these are their 10 watt edition, which means each one of these light diodes are 10 watts. These things are crazy bright. And because they're IP69K rated, I shouldn't have any problem using these out in the beach. I mounted the switch for the lights down here by the seat. It's right here. That turns them on and off. This one also has a kicker sub that's been added to the back of it. And this is a competition 10 inch sub. And again, here's the LED lights that circle around the top. I can't tell if you can see them moving or changing, but I have the ability to go through several different types of lighting patterns and modes. They're not RGB, so they don't change color. They're only red, but I do have the ability to adjust the brightness as well as the speed and the pattern. It also came with the optional dash cover that gives me two lockable glove boxes. Here you can see the speakers in the back seat that have the LED rings that go around them. I really don't know what design or pattern this seat is, but the material is really nice on it and it's been really resistant. When I picked this up from Houston, it rained pretty much the whole trip back and none of the water actually got absorbed into the seat whatsoever. So that's it folks. That's our new Easy Go golf cart and Big Tex trailer. I'll be doing more videos on it when we're actually using it out on the island in Port Aransas and on various parts of the beach. Also driving videos and you know showing you how it performs going over certain obstacles and things like that. So that's coming soon. Anyways, if you liked the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and if you'd subscribe to my channel. Thanks everyone.